one of the interesting things about conservation is because you are treating the object, you look at it in detail, and actually that's when things become apparent that maybe wouldn't be apparent on first glance. This is a jade pen box given to Queen Mary in 1936 by Pradyup Kumar Tagore. It was presented as being ex-property of Jahangir Shah, who was one of the greatest Mughal rulers. It was given to Queen Mary in the aftermath of her husband's death. We also have the letter he sent with the gift, expressing his condolences. When he presented it, the donor had made a plaque where the inscriptions around the edge of the box are translated. And there's also a really nice note in Queen Mary's handwriting. But despite all this documentation, it slowly became apparent that this box is not what it's purporting to be. So then I called Sue Strong, who is a mogul expert. All was revealed. The mats are very, very crude. The inscriptions are also incredibly crude. Whoever did it has misspelled Jahangir. So then I said to her, what about the box? Because the box could be genuine. And she said, no, 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 no. And the reason is that any decoration would have been incredibly symmetrical. Also, it would have been inlaid with semi-precious stones. What this is, is they're using painted decoration to conceal cracks in the jade. What I think is really fascinating about it is that actually, we know it's a fake, but the person who gave this to Queen Mary was a connoisseur. It feels like he believed it. Did he buy it from a faker? Did he have it in his family? The mystery sort of continues, and that's what's interesting. <laughs>